Uh, what is up YouTube? Lou Boyer coming to you from well I'd say sunny Southern California but that's not the case. I'm up in Alaska. <laughs> it's cold. It's snowing and uh, I'm gonna walk myself out of here and go find some snakes. Oh and before I go real quick I'm stopping at the Taco Palace where they have the best tacos in all of Alaska. All right, sunny Southern California, here I come. All right, well, that's more like it. All right, I do say sunny Southern California, but it's a mixture of clouds and sun today. In fact, two days ago, it was raining actually pretty good for Southern California. And uh, I've decided to ditch the sandals and put on some proper footwear. All right, let's go. All right, so the first piece. Will I get lucky and find a snake right away? Uh, no. Let's keep looking. All right, board number two. Come on, give me a king. Centipede. <laughs> Lots of ants. No snakes. Nope, not yet. See this little guy here? I don't know if that's what's called a cow killer or not, but some of these things can give nasty little bites. Like really nasty. You guys let me know if you think that's what it is. Oh, big tarantula. Oh, and some more of these little guys. No snakes. All right, come on, I need a snake for my snake video. Oh, look at all the ants from the rain. That is a bad sign. I may have to come back in a couple days. All right, so I'm gonna be honest, with these conditions, as wet as they are, I don't know if I'm gonna find anything or not. Maybe a ringneck snake? Um, I still got a lot to flip, so uh, yeah, not as hopeful, but still looking. What's funny is I was hoping to find a bunch of snakes. Now I'm just hoping to find a single snake. And you know, you can see if you don't look carefully, like look, there's a little skink right here. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, skinks usually mean no snakes. How am I gonna do this one? Let's see, how about this hand? Got ants? All it really takes is one board though. You just never know what the next one's gonna have under it. And look at that. A little gopher snake, just like that. All right, so here we go, little San Diego gopher snake. Not like a super great find or anything, but to be honest, I didn't know if I was gonna find a snake at all. The underneath of the neck turns a little bit yellowish, which is kind of neat. I don't know how well that's gonna show up, but uh, yeah, all right, so San Diego gopher snake. I'm gonna keep looking and I'm gonna put this guy back. But no complaints here. No complaints at all. All right, I'm on the board. It always feels good to find something. Um, there's been plenty of days I've come out and found nothing. And uh, you guys don't see that because I just delete those videos. But uh, uh, snake number one of hopefully a few. Um, San Diego gopher snake, hoping for a king, maybe a ring neck. And maybe a Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Let's see. Darn it. The king snakes in this area are really pretty and really different looking sometimes. So I'd love to show you guys one of those, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Come on, give me a king. More ants. Lots more ants. Oh, here's a bigger gopher snake. Look at that. Better color. Yeah, that's cool, huh? That's awesome. I'll see if I can get him in the light more. Now, uh, he may go on his own here, in which case I might grab him. Yeah, all right, hold on. 
All right, so I decided to get him out so you guys can see how much bigger he is. Uh, he's probably a meter long, you know, maybe three feet long, maybe a little longer. A little bit brighter yellow underneath. You can see that cool little marking under the eye, that little like black bar. It's kind of cool. And the pattern on these guys, there's not a lot of pattern. Kind of a mottled uh, sort of stripes to bars. Heavily keeled scales. All right, so I'm gonna put this guy back where I found him. I don't know if he'll go back under the board, but we'll see. Here he goes. <laughs> Too zoomed in. All right, yeah, very, very cool. Um, yeah, that one was more representative of the species as far as being able to see it, to see the yellow underneath it, and uh, really appreciate its beauty. So. Uh, Two gopher snakes. Will I find anything else? I'd be happy if I didn't, but uh, let's keep looking. Uh, it is nice to be home. Really nice to be home. Be better to find a king snake at home. A uh, couple mice or voles. <laughs> and your crazy skink. Oh, these are beautiful. Prickly pear cactus blooms in uh, a couple different colors here. Got some kind of a, some yellow, some pink, and some orange as well. And speaking of prickly pear cactus, you got to be careful because as you can see, there are quite a few of them around here. And the big ones are really easy to see. It's the little tiny ones that stick up that uh, pose a real problem. It's funny, when I have a setting like this with the cactus and such, I just think rattlesnake, even though it's not always the case. I'm still thinking it. All right, so I knew I brought this hook for a reason. It's not really for snakes, but the cactus here, uh, yeah, that wouldn't feel so good. No snakes, though. Oh! That's something I've never seen before. All right, so I am super stoked right now. I have never found this snake before. Uh, this is a striped racer. It's just a little one. These guys get to be about a meter, meter and a half. Well, maybe not a meter and a half, but a good four feet in length. And I'm going to get some better video, but I was shocked to see this. I've never found one of these before. All right, well, this isn't making the greatest video because I've got to hold him here. He's already bit me a couple times now. Now, luckily, he's very small, so that doesn't really do anything, but uh, it still sort of gets your attention. And he just wants to get away, obviously. And now he's in my shoelace. Um, what are we going to do here, buddy? Hold on. All right, so he's mellowed out just a little bit. You can see the board I flipped him under behind me. You can see towards the back of his tail here. It's almost skin tone, you know, it's kind of a peachish color. And that transitions as it goes down him into a yellow. And here's his head here. All right, well, time to put it back. I'm gonna let it go down the hole here in the middle and just see if it goes back under the board, maybe. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> All right, I am super stoked right now. I have never seen a striped racer before. And I hope it's just one of many to come in my future. Uh, I want to see a large one. Um, they get a bit feisty, they get a bit bitey, but uh, yeah, super cool snakes. I still got about another half an hour to look, so if I can find some more stuff to flip, I'll keep flipping. Oh, little tiny ringneck snake. You guys see this? You can just barely make out the ring on his neck. And these guys are typically common earlier in the year. But I haven't seen one this year. See the color underneath real pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna let them go. They don't smell so good. <laughs> Oh, a lot of ants under this one. Too many ants. Oh, I'd love to find one more snake. 
But I'll take three. I'll make that four because I found that ring neck as well. So uh, four's not bad. Uh, but even so, five would be better, wouldn't it? Especially if it was a king snake. Something about king snakes is just really cool. I think this is my last piece. And there's nothing under it. Oh well. Well, that's going to do it for another video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you.